The housing crisis is one of the most pressing issues that Hong Kong is facing. The Youth Hostel Scheme was initiated in the policy address in 2011 to alleviate the chronic housing shortage and high rental prices. The Senior Services Manager of Polan Cook Lee Shao Ki Youth Oasis, Ms Cora Yoon, gives insights into various services that are provided to assist young people to build capacity, share with peers and expand networking for future development. Going into the background of this project, um, it's about 2011 that uh, in the policy address of the then Chief Executive uh, Mr Donald Zhang who raised to improve people's well-being and focus on the youth support and service. In that moment, they raised some hostel for single youth and some NGO, the non-government organisation, mostly of them are the welfare organisation, are concerned about the aspiration of the working youth to have their own living space because the young people at that moment, or even nowadays, they have uh, quite a strong wish to have their uh, own living space. And apart from providing the youth service of this uh, organisation to the community, they want to use uh, part of the land granted to them by the government to build a hostel for the young people. And the government, of course, uh, welcomes such a proposal. And the government uh, begins to uh, formulate a scheme, a housing scheme, name it as a youth hostel scheme. And that's the youth hostel scheme. And under this hostel scheme, the government has uh, given some uh, restriction, uh, maybe agreement between the NGO uh, operators in construction of the site, source of the site, and also the operation. And first of all, the NGO will be fully funded by the government for the construction. That means the hostel. But the operation cost is not funded by the government. The NGO has to be self-financing on this project's uh, operation after the construction, when the building is built. That is a, a case of the Poland Coke. I take it as an example. Poland Coke is um, so lucky that it has got a land donated by the Henderson Land Group. The project is in Yunlong. Now we have uh, seven projects on hand by the government in different districts in Hong Kong. And among them, Poland Cook has got the largest site in Yunlong with uh, 1,680 uh, places for the young people to live in. And another one is already uh, in tech last year in 2019 by the Hong Kong Federation of Youth Group in Taipo. And Poland Cook will be the next one and other five are now in progress to apply for funds from the government and in the progress to make their operation proposal. Apart from the land that they have to got from the private developers, um, they have to get some funding. And between the agreement of the uh, uh, operators and, and the uh, government, the government has applied some application criteria to the applicants who apply for this hostel. Um, first of all, they, they must be a permanent resident of Hong Kong. Um, they are, must be a working youth, has some income at, at least to pay for the rental cost. And they are uh, between the age 18 and 30 of years of age. And personally, they do not own any domestic properties in Hong Kong. And for the monthly income and their assets limit, we know from the last project in Taipo last year in 2019, the monthly limit is around 23,000 per person per month. And this is calculated by a percentage, 75 percentage of the overall income and assets announced by the government through the valuation department every year or from time to time. So uh, it's not fixed to a, a certain level. We, we will get it from the government when we um, have to uh, set the rent before. And after all, all the selected tenants under the youth hostel scheme shall not 
leasing a hostel unit for more than five years in aggregate. That, that means that um, altogether, they can only live in a hostel for five years. This is not a permanent housing. This is a temporary social housing, we call it. So the, therefore, um, the tenants can only live there for five years only. A tenant can be, say, uh, live in Project A for two years, and then he can move to Project B for one year, and and then they can also move to another project for two years, but not three years, because we would count all together, all to five years under the same scheme. And that's the restriction for the application. And now we come to the Youth Oasis project. And I said this is the largest youth hostel project in Hong Kong, located in Yunlong, to be constructed and operated by Poland Co. Um, the land was donated by Li Xiaoqi Foundation Fund to Poland Co. in 2015. The scheme was initiated by the government in 2011, that is four years before the, we got the land, um, because the government and the NGO has to spend uh, quite a long time to source for a land from the private developers. And Poland Cook is lucky to get a land uh, donated by the Lee Seo Key Foundation Fund in 2015. And, and after that, we have to apply for the construction fund from the Financial Committee of the Legislative Council in about three years' time. Totally, we got funding of 1,440 million for the construction for the construction of the project. That is the, the place uh, you can see from the map, the location of the U of S. It's not right at the town centre of Yunlong, but it is quite near to it. It is about uh, 15 to 20 minutes from the town centre. As you can see from this uh, photo, that the site area is quite a large one with a triangular shape, surrounding with some green trees and low-rise housing. About the project progress, then immediately after we got the funding, uh, Poland Co. has started the foundation work in early 2019. And at that moment, uh, we have a, quite a smooth foundation work uh, construction. And it has completed last year in June. And immediately after that, we started the superstructure construction and we expected the building uh, can be completed in the second quarters of 2022. That means the next year. And we hope it, we can have a smooth intake within a few months uh, in the third quarters of 2022. And the Youth Oasis, as I said, is the largest uh, project in the hostel scheme. That we have 1,680 places uh, to accommodate one person's flat and two person's flat, and total make it up in 1,248 flat units in total. Only two types of flat, only 1P and 2P flat, right? For the rent level, as um, the agreement between the government and the NGO running the project, the rent level set by the government is not more than 60% of the market rent at, at the time they, they intake or when they are operating the project. But Poland Group has uh, taken it further to pledge to set the rent level at 50%, just half of the prevailing market rent to cover raise and management fee as well. For the design features, we are basically to arrange some environmental friendly outlook design, uh, energy saving, uh, greening with soft landscape and gardens, a podium garden, and with barrier free access. And for some new technology, we will have estate apps and with QR code access for tenants and also our staff for access to the building. Um, unlike some other uh, private sectors, uh, estate, or uh, um, public housing. Uh, we have 
some common facilities available in the project. We have shared spaces, some multifunction room, uh, library, reading and restroom, uh, podium gardens, and also a basketball court will be constructed on the ground floor so that the tenant can enjoy it, uh, can go into it to enjoy their leisures uh, in these areas. We also have some shared facilities, such as a common kitchen and laundry room to provide laundry service. These are special because we provide this common kitchen's laundry service in, uh, on every floor of the building. Not only the flat itself, but also kitchen and laundry room will be available on each floor. And we will planning to have some vending machine or e-lockers uh, for the tenants to use whenever they are necessary. Because nowadays, uh, these are quite popular among the young people. And this is the side elevation drawings of the building. Altogether, we have 27 storey. 27 storey that uh, divided into two parts. The first part is the residential block that I have mentioned. There's pantry uh, or kitchen that, and laundry rooms on each floor. And down on the second floor, there's a podium garden. And on the ground floor, you'll find a lobby, function room, and office and also the basketball court. And you may interest to know what is about the room itself, okay? Um, the room, we have two types of room, single room and double room. Single room, uh, there we have uh, 816 rooms. Um, and double room, we have 432 rooms. All together, we make it uh, 1,248 numbers room for one person applicants and two person applicants to live in. The single room is about 15 square meters, uh, excluding the toilet area. And the double room is about 20 square meters, also exclude the toilet area. For the room facilities, uh, we also, because we are a hostel, right? In a hostel, we will provide some uh, furniture and fixture for, for the tenants to use. Then we have a washroom, a bath area for, for them, that is individual inside each flat. Small pantry, because we don't have a kitchen in each flat, therefore we have a small pantry with a sink for them to use. In each flat, we will provide a single bed frame for each person. That means in one single room, that we will have a single bed frame provided. And in 2P flat, we will have two bed frame available but the mattress we will not provide it we only provide the bed frames <laughs> the, the, the mattress are, are depending on on individual preference of the tenants so they have to buy their own when they move in and there will be a built-in wardrobe tables and chair and some uh, electrical appliances such as refrigerators uh, electric water heaters and also air conditioner will be installed beforehand. As an NGO, Poland Coop has a mission and vision to run this uh, youth oasis in three aspects. Basically, we want to advocate health awareness and provide some uh, leisure activity for the youth. And we'll have a series of uh, health awareness program talks uh, leisure activity, interest classes, etc. And we want our tenants can accumulate uh, and enhance themselves uh, with some skills or uh, knowledge. So we will arrange some uh, career talk and also some uh, finance planning classes or seminar for them to know. And also some training will be uh, provided uh, that they can uh, have more skills in uh, coping their uh, career development. And care for themselves and also care for others is also important. So we also promote uh, green movement and good neighborhood communication. We will arrange uh, some uh, social gathering 
and some uh, maybe uh, experience sharing among the tenants themselves because they are all among the age group of young people uh, from 18 to 30, right? So they, they can easily get together and communicate uh, to ex share their experience and care for, for their neighbours and even we want to, them to care for the community as well. And during this moment, we are on the construction stage of the building. Now what we are doing, we are now have to prepare our operation plan and, and of course the budget. The budget is quite important that we, how we spend the money, keep the well-being of the building. And we are also started a furniture and equipment procurement process that you can imagine uh, quite a lot of things that we have to purchase from the suppliers. As I, I have said, that uh, we will provide some electrical appliances, furniture, and, and some uh, 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 multifunction room furniture, etc. So a lot of things that we have uh, uh, to prepare. Also the IT system development, the later we will have uh, testing and training for our staff and we will outsource our security guard service and cleaning service. So we will have a series of tendering procedures within our uh, organization and also get it approved by the government as well. And recruitment of staff. Uh, and by the time when the application is near to be open, that we will have a, a series of promotion activities as well. And meanwhile, we have a, a close contact with various government departments, um, like the transport department, uh, that we have uh, quite a concern of uh, more than 1,000 people, working people will live in Yunlong, and then they, they will give a burden to the traffic there. So we have a close contact with the department and the, and, and the bus company as well. And also the utility company, water and electricity. And we are considering to have some Wi-Fi setting in some common areas for the tenants. And also some bank accounts for their auto pay, etc., etc. We also have some intake activity as said because we, we want to know more about the youth expectation in the youth oasis. So we have a focus group meetings from time to time to meet some young people and what they are expect from our service. So we have uh, from time to time some focus group arranged. And last year in November, in Yunlong, one of our centre has uh, a functional map competition. And this is quite welcoming that they have provided amazing ideas that how to travel from the U Oasis to the nearby area of uh, Yunlong. Some of them will have a culture and historical background that tell many, many stories that is really good. They also suggest some routing that you can uh, ride on a bicycle to, to the Lear by side viewing that you can take photos or hiking walk, etc. So that will be uh, taken for as a reference for our future tenants to achieve their pleasure time. And original, we have planned for a camping fun fair last year in December, but uh, due to the COVID-19 issue that we have to postpone this uh, camping fun fair. And right before the application is open uh, around next year, we will have one activity that is an uh, interior design competition. The, the interior design competition is not a layout design, right? It is only a decoration design. Decoration, how to decorate the interior area of the fret, 1P fret and 2P fret, how to make it warm and comfortable and or maybe it can be cozy or fancy as, as the competitor design. And we will take it as, as also a reference for our future tenants to, to take reference when they move in to decorate their fret. 
and we are planning to have a logo and mascot design competition as well, wanting to add some fun and icon for, for this uh, hostel project. As I said, I have a special team, that uh, the youth hostel theme, to uh, give service in the hostel. Because we have a mission and vision, right? The development team will arrange a series of youth development programs such as uh, health talk, interest classes, career planning, skill enhancement program. We also uh, organize some volunteer service for the community. Okay, that's all for my presentation today and thank you very much.